I'm demonstrating a mod here today. It's a bipod I've got for my noob tube. It's really cheap uh, to make. It's probably under a tenner, including postage, and I'll probably include it with all future noob tubes as well. It basically studies the rifle right down for long range shots. Uh, you shoot it prone. Now I'm shooting it prone here, but it's not very comfortable. I don't like shooting prone lying down. It's quite a lot of stress in your neck and your back, and it's not, you're not very mobile when you're actually lying down. It's quite awkward to shoot around on your elbows. But just to show you how steady it is when you're shooting prone. Probably my favourite way of shooting this is actually seated. Now it's not a, a normal sort of shooting position I suppose when you're out on, in the field, but it's it's really comfortable for gaming. You just sit in normally, you can sit cross-legged on the floor and you can actually extend the bipod and it's quite high. So you can have a really steady long range shot uh, from a much more uh, natural comfortable shooting position, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. So the bipod, it doesn't affect uh, your front loading or anything like that. And it's quite lightweight, so you can still use it even if you're standing up. Uh, you don't have to put the bipod down. Now here's the seated position. I'm aiming down a little bit here because it's the uh, the range is a bit higher than the targets. I'm just using the bolt action. But it really does steady the shots up nicely. And it's it, there's quite a lot of smoothing that goes on in H3 VR here. Um, in Onward, there's not quite as much smoothing, so it feels a little bit more natural maybe. I'm just showing off the longer range. I'll go really long range in a minute. I think this is only on nine times mag. I think I'll go up to 18 in a minute for the longer range shots, which are coming up in a minute. But this is how I'd probably shoot in something like Onward. I'd probably sit on the side of a hill and it's much, you're much more mobile with it. And uh, as, you, as you move around with the control pad, you can stay in the same position and you can spin your body around on the spot. But it gives you a bit more mobility as well, because when you're lying down, it's quite hard to move, you know. But here's the longer range shot, so you can see how smooth it is. Um, it, I'm actually struggling to see the targets a little bit because of the pixelation, but uh, you can see some of the smoothing taking over a little bit, but it is pretty accurate. I think I end up lobbing a few shots high here because it's quite hard to see where I'm actually aiming at. But I think that's the limitations of the HTC Vive screen, you know. I think that'll improve with time. I've got the trace around on just so you can see where the, see where the shots are going. It's a great range by the way Anton, well done. <laughs> I can't wait to see an outdoors sniping range. Really good. I think, I think I hit the end target there so I'm a little bit over. Now finally a little thing I discovered is you can be really lazy with this. You can sit on a swivel chair and you can balance the V right on your legs and you can basically become a sniping turret. <laughs> so you can move around and onwards and you can uh, basically just move around the battleground sitting down but with this V um, and it makes the uh, shots really accurate. So if you want to be a little mobile sniping platform, well that's basically what you can do with it. Demonstrate a few shots there. A little, bit, a little bit hasty there. So there it is, a really cheap little mod. I know it looks a bit crap, but you won't see it in VR, and it certainly works. Okay, see ya.